how's everybody doing? Midweek magic, Duskmorn, House of Horror Constructed. This week event is Duskmorn House of Horror Constructed. Bring a 60 card deck with only cards from the most recent set and demonstrate your mastery of the new cards. Basically flush out your favorite draft deck into a functional standard deck and play block standard. Um, this sounds really fun actually. I think what we're probably gonna end up doing is fleshing out a deck a little bit. I'm probably not going to have all the rares and mythics for it that I want, so we might draft just a little bit first after the deck is built to try to, to finish the deck out since I've gone and spent all of my rare and mythic cards. I don't have any rare or mythics. I mean, yeah, block standard. I, We've kind of taken the blocks away and that there used to be three all together to form the block in the end, and now it's just the one and we move on. So, you know, each set is kind of its own block in that sense. <laughs> yeah, block standard. Showing my age a little bit, huh? That's funny. All right, well, we kind of already know where we're gonna be headed, I think, for me. Knowing that, like, where is it at? That door is one of my favorite. This thing, this guy, is taking over standard like crazy. And I think it's funny. We might play the one just to have it in our deck. We'll see what happens with it. But yeah, this guy is, is pretty gross. I've lost quite a few games to him once he gets going. Just if a card you didn't control would be put into an opponent's graveyard, exile it instead. I <laughs> I didn't even realize my opponent had slammed this down and I tried to mill myself and surveil a bunch and just watched me exile my library into Valgavoth here. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's going to suck. And then just the ward of sacrifice three non-land permanents. That's, that's a huge, huge thing to come back from. Um, but anyway, I, not the black, is it the black? Yeah, it was the black. What is the door? A weird room. Where's the room? Leyline of the Void. Man, I wonder if that's something I should have. Um, is it the Filed Crypt? Yeah, yeah, bring things back and get creatures, do the cadaver lab thing. I think that's going to be one of the cards for sure. Um, since we're going to be hitting along these lines, it is what? Corner? Yeah, threats around every corner. This card won me over just getting the one in draft. I think this thing is amazing. And between the two the mana ramp the mana fixing is, is gonna be more than enough um, if we're gonna be doing that then this paranormal analyst needs to be in there so what I'm hoping to have happen is we're just going to manifest use this to pull the card back out of our graveyard and into our hand and we can just make creatures by like manifesting and grinding with these three cards here there's going to be a little bit of reanimate involved, but there's, there's definitely going to be a little more. And then, like, I want four of those in this deck. Shenanigans involved, I think, as far as the manifest stuff goes. Um, we might even be able to do the Say Its Name and play in a Cedar Rack. So, or Altanak, a Cedar Rack. Man, gonna get my weird legendary A names all mixed up. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, we can play one Onslaught. That should be okay. I don't know that I need to hit the delirium aspect of this. I'm gonna 
shouldn't be doing this. It's probably going to be more along these lines. Last step, it is card unless permanent entered, then just draw. I should also have the uh, not collected selected, huh? There's gotta be stuff. We've got two good creatures for that. We've got that, honestly. If we're doing this, oh, we could do a Dick Twister deck. Um, where is the beefy boy at yeah, you, Overlord? Um, you know, you're right. One Zimone can't hurt, could it? Her just getting Primo going. Getting all those extra lands with the uh, threats around every corner. I, I could see that being a good payout. That's, that's not too bad for some of what we're doing. So, I mean, we've definitely got the bodies. We've got the bodies. Like, there's no reason... I'm looking more at, like, I guess, removal now. Which, really, the vest is going to be in black. Oh, uh, you don't need the multicolor attached, because I can just do, like, murder and came back wrong. I could, I guess, I could. We we could look at clobbering's okay. Monstrous emergence might be all right for us, which just fighting stuff. Yeah, yeah. Adding removal, like we're we're gonna hit the mana base up a little bit and and clean that out. That's not gonna be too big of a deal. Um, you know. Got the bodies and effects. I feel like I'm missing something on the uh, get a creature out of your graveyard effects in here. Oh, I am. I so am. I know what I'm missing. It's uh, under the skin. This card's so good. This is a four of in our deck as well. Um... If that is the case, we probably only need like two Hauntwood Skinners. Man, I probably only need like three of those. And for some reason, my brain is screaming at me. I need to put, like, two of these things in. Because the way the deck is going to work, we want to be able to loop. And this will be able to put stuff on the bottom of our library to kind of to draw and get that going. And it still triggers the uh, creature leaving a graveyard, right? Yeah, it can make a creature leave the graveyard that way. So that should be okay. So between this... And this, and the amount of manifest dread we have, this thing is gonna mana ramp us like crazy. Um, one onslaught doesn't seem like enough, but uh, we still don't have removal in the deck. <laughs> so. I do need to get removal in the deck. It's only 24 lands. Oof. I don't know 
or target artifact or enchantment opponent controls, shuffles it into their library. I can shuffle up to tor four target cards from my graveyard into my library. Man. Do I need removal that I'm just going to outvalue everybody? I need some form of removal in here. There's got to be some, right? Like... There's just so many good cards for what I'm trying to do that I want to have in here. Maybe we get rid of one say its name. And get rid of like one threats. I don't actually have but the one Oculus anyway. But this card is so good for what I'm trying to do. This might be a little bit better though, because if we can manifest him and flip him for two, people are gonna quit. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, Docile is off doing massages, so she's not even gonna be moderating it all today. So you, you can lurk, you can do the thing. I just appreciate you guys hanging out as it is. I know this one's a little awkward, and that I'm building a, a deck. We're gonna try and play it, I guess. But. Can we craft that around? Oh, three wilds? Yeah, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Yeah, we, we need some form of removal. And I do feel like. A couple of nowhere to runs are gonna be necessary. I think for something just a little bit bigger, it's gonna have to be... Oh man, where is it? Monstrous here. Fetch basics, right? Yeah, basic land, put it onto the battlefield. That's it, huh? Um, even get one of these rare lands for this. Crazy. I mean, it is a mostly green deck at this point. We're splashing heavy for black just for Valgavoth and these couple of other cards. I almost could cut this. Or like anything else. One more cathartic. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst looking deck I've ever built. I'll I'll give it a quick spin. And if we don't like it, we might do a draft and come back to this. 
see what everybody else is throwing together. Man, that's really tempting. Really tempting. But if we don't get a land, we don't do anything. I don't know, almost has to be green. That's meh. Oh, whoops. I misclicked. That was supposed to be a mulligan. Oh well. Yay for a free event. A chance at this. Or to run. Okay, that hurts. Alright, and you going ghost vacuum it? Yeah, you definitely are if I try to do that and return it. That sucks. Well, I'll play another one. I ghost back you my first one. Yeah, I feel like the graveyard hate for most decks is gonna be real. tapped. That's fucked. Um, yeah, well, we do it. Go ahead. Eat my 3-3 three, three from the grave. Oh, you're not going to. You're not going to. Okay, well, we're gonna get this and return that anyway. Well, you have to let the whole spell resolve before you get priority. You would have never been able to click on it anyway. It wasn't in the graveyard as an option. You can be salty that your graveyard hate didn't work against my deck. That's fine. <laughs> Slap that guy down. I think we go this one. Manifest drag, that's fine. I'm gonna eat that with their their ghost vacuum. They don't they don't want me uh doing the thing, I guarantee it. Is there even a creature to return? There's not a creature to return. Why would I? I don't want to cast that yet. Silly game. Silly, silly game. Enter. 
Those are later things. Well, so far so good. Uh huh. Fear of the lost teeth. Sorry, Finger Monkey. I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Um, we're gonna turn this one face up. And then do threats around every corner. fine. I don't think you realize that you have kind of already lost. I'm about to just value you into the ground. Desperate when it shows. This is good. Three, four, four. Man, we could do two. Drop a defiled crypt. And then we're gonna do the overlord. Since the whole effect has to resolve before they get priority. You gotta do it now? No? Alright. Oh, I didn't get anything back. That sucks. Uh, let's try it again. That is a lot of mana milled. That sucks. Whatever, oh. one or more cards leave. Yeah, that's right. Grab that, say its name. Grab it. Make me a 2 2. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, they're thinking about it. Oh, they did it from their graveyard. That's funny.
trying to decide if I want to flip this, then attack to get the trigger, or do it if they block. to the races. Apparently I should have played the Chandelure. Chandelier. Chandelure is a Pokemon. Uh-huh. Attackers, you're gonna get in for two damage and manifest dread. It's pretty decent. attack with the big boy for now. <laughs> Valgavath, welcome to the team. get in there the full blocks no all right well Do that as a sorcery, huh? Uh, it's just a little too late. That's funny. I think I'm gonna parting it. Yeah. You just resolve Valgavoth. <laughs> that's that's all you need. Can you stop my 99 flying lifelink <laughs> with this absurd ward? I mean they probably could have. They did have the thing that stopped my ward triggers. But that's a lot to fight through. I don't even think this is the best version of this deck, but this is kind of funny. Alright, well, it, it did alright the first game. Might as well see if I can get my three uh, midweek magic wins with it. Uh, I mean, we 
get say its name possibly under the skin to threats that could be all right if we get to threats we're we're doing okay Are you here to play magic or are you just trying to get me to quit? Because this will not be a free win for you. I'm not that kind of magic player. things I can click on. Man, why do you sound so loud? Uh, yeah, let me say his name. Um, I think we go swamp here, and then we can go under the skin and get back the, uh, the overlord. Lots of times under the skin. We'll manifest. Throw up breaths away. Get back a overlord. Uh, next turn is threats. And then we play overlord. We don't even have to do the impending thing. Seven to flip face up. That's not happening. I'll trade. Do not mind the trades. Do threats. We're missing blue, so that's I guess what we will go get is our blue mana. Give me an island. That is fine. And I almost want to threats again and then just Vagavas onslaught next turn. And actually I think we can go threats and overlord into Valgavoss. Oh, that's gonna be so stupid. Oh yeah, you're Tyvar the Pummeler, that's fine. That into the grave. So yeah, we should be able to threats. Um, yeah, very normal. Um, an island? Can we? No, we cannot. Um, cool. Well, we'll do the thing. Two, three. We'll get back the paranormal. Um, let's see. One green, double X. We can do it for three. Now if we draw one more, I could do it for four, but I kind of want to play the Paranormal Analyst first. Or not, that's fine. Ooh, Valgavoth. One, two, three. Oh, Valgavoth comes out next turn. Oh, that's so gross. All right, so Lakeside Shack. Can I do both of these? Yeah, we can go chandelier into analysis. This Valgavas onslaught is gonna be gross. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could just do it for four. X equals four. We'll make four six sixes and draw four cards. If I continue to hold my same board state. Yeah, no blocks, that's fine. Or do we play Valgavoth first? I think I might just play Valgavoth first. Um, sorry, I'm still getting used to messing with the chat and reading chats. Um, I don't, I don't really see it as often as I probably should. I didn't mean to, to not say hi. No, they're, they're already gone. Yeah. Dang. Uh, no attacks. We're playing defensively right now. A little bit of impending. I see your Tyvar the Pummeler and his activation can only happen once, so that's fine. Uh, you can't activate it this turn, that's also fine. Um. Interesting. I'll give up Valgavoth. You think I won't? You think I won't? Give it Death Touch. Uh huh. Hey. During my turn, I can play cards exiled with Valgavoth. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna get him back. I don't know if I want to do it right now, though. Or if I want to Valgavoth's Onslaught this turn. I think we want to Onslaught this turn. We're just going to do the Onslaught for four. All right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And this is going to mana ramp the rest of the, the basics out of the deck. <laughs> yeah, just all of the lands. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So good. Um... 
can't do that one yet. Got it. Can we pay for you to end it? We can just put you to the battlefield. Let's just do that. I guess I could have flipped it. Is 19 a prime number? <laughs> 19 is a prime number. Uh, Valgavoth. Thanks, bub. Man, this would have been so much better if we would have had a crypt out, but we don't. Um, that's fine, we can do that. I don't know, we can do that. <laughs> we can just go to the graveyard. Get you down. Oh, we can even cast you? This is so stupid. Why are you even still here, opponent? Look at this giant ass Primo on 1919. <laughs> I'm not scared, you're scared. Yeah, see, I knew you were scared. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> gems, excellent. That was, that was all we needed was gems. Uh. Oh, mono black, followed by Golgari. Let's see what uh, Stevie Rose here is playing. Oh man, natural soul tie. It's gonna be analyst, analyst threats if we get a land. That might be okay, actually. That might be okay, actually. Valgavas Faithful. We got the land we needed, so. That'll be land uh, analyst, land threats into Overlord. That's pretty decent. We get to just curve out two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. I brought another one just in case. Oh, I don't need to play the cadaver lab. There's nothing to target. Oh, we got our own Valgavoth. Yeah, let's go off. Dread, huh? We'll do the spell. Well, I won't get that land, but that's fine. I've learned enough of my lessons with this card and arena. Yeah, 
we've got our, our pieces in play. These colors can't really affect them too much. I think we'll be able to go... Oof. We're almost able to just... Under the skin, oh, perfect. Um, we'll put you down, do the thing, get back the land. Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that land. I should have grabbed the other one. Whatever. Whatever. Three. Uh, I need to get another swamp for Valgavoth. That's, that's good to remember. I need three swamp. But yeah, everything's in place. We're, we're good. What are you going to do to stop me, opponent? Nothing. Why did I am pending you? I wanted to cast you. Oh well. Swamp for Valdivas. How about you don't do that with the goat? What's funny is they're going to play Valgavoth and then I'm going to play Valgavoth. My Valgavoth deck is better than yours? Come on. Alright, well. There we have it. <laughs> Midweek magic. Ooh, the nowhere to run. Like, card style. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. Sultai Manifest Valgavoth. <laughs> we were able to get the Zamone to make a 1919 Primo. We got to cast Altanok thrice called by doing the three out of the say its name. We got Valgavoth on the battlefield several games, like the threats around the corner plus the Defiled Crypt and the uh, what's it called combo was great. This deck was overall actually really well. I, I didn't have high expectations, just kind of throwing it together like that, but I've surprised myself doing the 3-0. That, uh, that was fun. Alright, well, we are uh, done with Windy Quagic. And that means we get to do some drafts. The uh, season reset... So we are no longer in the Platinum, we are back down to Silver and have to, to work our way forward, but uh, I think starting here, was this, the second of the month, that, that'll be plenty of time if I'm drafting, you know, every other day or so. I think we can, we can push pretty good in this set, I'm, I'm, I've been enjoying it. We'll uh, take a quick smoke break, bathroom break, drink break, whatever you feel like you need a break for, and uh, we'll be back.
Alright, alright, we are back. Sorry for the delay on that break. The dog needed out for sure. Alright, we're gonna spend some gold this time instead of gems. So let's hope it goes well. Let's continue that uh, midweek magic. You just steamroll into the first draft of the new season. I was feeling a little guilty. I didn't get that first time chatter and then I looked and their profile was made three hours ago. I'm not feeling so bad anymore. I got a feeling they're one of those, look at my art, I'm gonna do the thing. I mean, ley line of transformation, it's a rare. I just, I got, you can't play it in this format really. I think the only way you can really play this is if you get the demon enchantment room that lets you draw cards and hit your opponent if you control demons, then this might be kind of a cheeky fun thing to do, but really like pyroclasm's looking really good here. Putting this pretty firmly in red. Oblivious bookworm, one of the better pickups for my favorite. Uh, archetype in this set. Surgical Suite. We haven't really played around with this one too much. It starts with the two mana reanimate something three or less to the battlefield and then at four whenever you attack something gets one plus one permanently. So I kind of want to try Surgical Suite out as much as we know that Bookworm is great and Pyroclasm is great. We're gonna just start Mono White here. We open up a Ley Line of the Void. That's not a whole lot for us. Unwanted Remake, not a whole big deal. We get past Tunnel Surveyor. There's some enchantment synergies with the Blue-White, which is starting to pick up and have a lot of promise. Um, good cards, though, notably are this 2-2 Menace Gremlin and Scorching Dragonfire. Both are amazing. Surveyor is amazing. It's it's a tough pick between one of those three. We can send the double red and try to just take out the blue, let our opponent know that they're not going to get a whole lot of blue to open up. But Scorching Dragonfire is probably my favorite removal in the set. Man. We'll take the Dragonfire. We'll see what happens there. I don't know that we're going to move into Boros just yet. I do want to keep the blue-white enchantment stuff open. Um, flood Pit enters tap something. Put a stun counter on it. For two, tap shuffle Flood Pits and target creature with a stun counter on into the owner's libraries. So you got to flash it in and stun something. It does have Vigilance, so you can kind of attack in before you do the shuffle. It is a pretty decent card. The Infernal Phantom is also amazing that we can pump. We could pick up a Terramorphic Expanse now if we just want to have it for any splashes. I really do like the Weary Watchdog in this situation. He's also a really good creature pickup. Yeah, we might just pick up the blue two drops, see where we go. Or again, we're not really locked into anything just yet as much as we like the cards we're picking up. Umbrella. Arabella, Abandoned Doll, we've seen it in action, we know it's good. Most Valuable Slayer definitely earns his name. I really like the Slayer and some of his synergies and things. We already have the Scorching Dragonfire, we don't necessarily have to move into the Boro stack, but we are pushing that direction a little bit, aren't we? A Mutilator is just a good beater. I don't know that it's the best card on the pack. I do think the gold uncommons and the slayer just slightly better picks. Yeah, no, I don't want to grab the slayer here. Ooh, the twins would be a decent pickup for the double up. There's not really anything in the way of blue-white enchantments. 
I think it's twins here for sure. And third ley line this table. That's crazy. Um, yeah, none of these really stand out to me. We might just take the rare here to take the rare. Yeah, we'll take the rare, get the eye here. Unfortunately, we're probably not playing you. Uh, Painter's Studio at the Defaced Gallery. That's actually gonna be a pretty good pickup to have the plus one if we go the, the Boro strategy. So that's, that's a pretty good pickup for us. Uh, we are just gonna go into Boros here. Do we want reanimate? No. Do we want a 4-4 that can fling something? No. I mean, they're both okay picks, but I think I'm just gonna stuff the rare again. Um, here, the doll and the goat are pretty decent for us. I might pick up the doll here. No, I want to pick up one drops. No, we want the doll. We want the doll for the unblockable. One doll is decent. Decent get up. Um, not really a whole lot for us here, huh? I mean, we're not playing any of this. Take the removal spell. Again, we're not playing any of this. Take uh, the land cycler. It's another two or four drop. This is another two or three drop. any of these we take the uncommon not playing any of these we take the land cycler apparition not really what we're looking for not really what we're looking for here to the veil, pretty pretty cool rare for constructed. Uh, Lionheart Glimmer, I've been more and more impressed with seeing how it plays out, especially for the adepts that want to attack. Grand Entryway is also a really good pickup. Trapped in the screen would be a really good pickup for us, and we're where you will want in this land. So something needs to come back around. I think we take removal first, as much as I like the rotunda, we don't really have any eerie triggers because we're not doing the blue stuff just yet, so we're gonna take the removal. Oh man, we get past the balustrade worm, that thing was so fun. Uh, at the beginning of my second main phase, if it's tapped, draw a card. If I control the glimmer, if I don't, create a glimmer. This thing seems like it could be really decent. Skin Glassworks is removal. And red, the twins is gonna be fun if it comes back. Same thing with the Night Mayhem. Um, they seem really good, but I think you're better off in the blue deck, in the blue white deck that I was hoping to try and get. So I'm in the red. Man, there's a chainsaw keeping us in the red for sure. Tunnel Surveyor is definitely what the uh, blue-white version's wanting for those eerie triggers. Key Bear might be a fun pickup. No, we get the chainsaw. It's removal that sticks around to pump something else. It's, it's crazy good for what we want to be doing. Fear of being hunted, definitely a good pair up with the most valuable slayer, so we're gonna pick that up. Of 
already got a doll. We don't really have any other good blue light options. Phone's okay because it digs for things. I don't know if we're gonna reach delirium for the hand that feeds. Yeah, none of these really feel like cards that I want in my deck. So I'm gonna take an uncommon for the collection. And I'll get another, that's funny. Um, another painter's studio? Yeah, we definitely want to be going wide then. We've got two of the battle cry enchantment room now, like Come on, where's the twins? Show me some twins. Menace, sacrifice a creature, an enchantment, exile a top card, you can play it this turn. I mean, it is a 4-3 menace for 4. That's not bad. I could grab Razor Trap Gorge and start looking at Splashing Black, although I don't know what we would pick up. Um, Probably a second doll here. This guy does the thing for in multiple rooms. That's a pump. Okay, I guess we take the spirit. I don't think we're gonna play this one though. I might be surprised. So do you need to be activated? Plus three plus zero is two or more unlocked doors among rooms. Yeah, that might happen. There's the twins, heck yes. Liking them coming back around. Uh, really, nobody wants the key bear. I don't know that I can splash that. We haven't gotten anything for it, but I'm going to take it. Um, probably not going to play the living phone. Moldering gem, huh? We might look into splashing green. Just because we got mana fixing. Yeah, just because we got some mana fixing. Mirror room, make a reflection, trigger permanent, triggers twice. Ah, this thing can, can be fun if we were actually in those colors. I don't think we can do Altenac this way, not, not pack three, there's no way. Maybe if we got him pack one, we could get him going. So really for us, we got what, Percussionist, Ethereal Armor, Cheerleader. Might take a Cheerleader here. We don't really have too many enchantments. We do want to be attacking in. The Monkey is great for the Delirium stuff, which we don't really have. So yeah, I think Cheerleader. We can get a second Chainsaw. Oh. But why? Chainsaw times two. There's also a ley line of resonance. Although we don't really have any spells to target, except for here is a turn inside out in the same pack. Oh man. Why do you do this to me, Arena? No, we we take the chainsaw. We're gonna double up on the chainsaw. That seems real silly. A Norn or a Glassworks. Oof. There's no other white cards really. Norn hopefully wheels. I don't think anybody else really wants to be doing Norn stuff, but I'm gonna take the glassworks here. Removal is just great. Smoky Lounge, Misty Salon. We're definitely not doing too many of the room things to kind of have that happen. Attached Dread, Equipped Creature gets plus two, plus one. And no, the deck went great. We went 3-0. We didn't lose any games. And we just kind of ran through everybody. Deck was amazing. It was a lot of fun, actually. So now that we're done with that, we come to draft. Um, Phantom? I mean, we could grab Slasher. He seems okay. 
I've already got a Terramorphic Expanse. I would splash slash or Terramorphic. Like, uh, that seems okay. I don't really whole lot, have a whole lot of anything else going on out of this. Maybe a Ripper. What do I got? We got three, four, five rooms. The rampaging was actually gonna be okay. Uh, I grab a screen as another splash for the slasher. No, uh, merge from the cocoon, huh? <coughs> Excuse me, man. Intervention. Pick up a let's play a game or a horde vigor. This kind of goes more on the delirium stuff. It might get played. Never die. This guy's in our wheelhouse. This thing's in our wheelhouse. Ooh, swamp Cycler, huh? Yeah, I think we actually take the Swamp Cycler. So we're not gonna play the green guys. Uh, we are weird base Mardu deck splashing black, I think. But definitely not all the black. We don't need that. I don't know that we'll need the slashers in there for a reason. Let's play a game, probably won't make it. Liver die is a double. Snatcher's only in there because it's going to be looking for a swamp. So with the one unstoppable slasher, we only need three black sources, really? Uh, we might do two. Just on the weird one off chance that we actually get to cast the Snatcher. Yeah, I think so. We don't really have. Like, Liver Die might be the way to bring it back. Oh, do I have two Snatchers? I have two Snatchers. Shit, alright, if we got two Snatchers, then we definitely want to live or die in there. So, some weird Mardu deck. Awesome. Two Snatchers, we've got two recursion spells that hit him. This one only hits an early attacker. What's that? Oh man, if I would have picked up that double strike bear, that's what that would have been for. Surgical suite. Ooh, that would have been nuts. Uh, slasher, though. If something ever happens, we can surgical suite the slasher. That's funny. Oh, but if he dies with 1 1 counters on him, he just, he's gone. Hmm. Interesting. Cheerleader, two chainsaws. I don't know that. Yeah, playmates are just two twos for twos to buy time, really, huh? Removal. The twins are great. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're just kind of meh, if I'm honest. Studios are. Impulse draws plus battle cry. That's awesome. Glassworks. Just three drop removal. Hospital rooms probably going to be played on four. Man, what a wacky looking little curb we got. All right, so then that's there. He's potentially there. Uh, 
14, 15 lands. Right, seven and seven is 14, 15. So I should have like 16, 17. 17 lands. Eight, six, and two, that seems right. I need to make one cut, huh? One. We only have 13 creatures. Oh man, I'm gonna be leaning so heavy on this removal. Um, man, all right. Type equals. Creature. Two, four, six, eight, thirteen, and thirteen is twenty six plus the seventeen. That's that's right, like. Removal, 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 not removal, not removal. Two reanimation spells. Do I just cut one painter's studio? That seems wrong. We already have the buff from the surgical sleep though. Removal, 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 removal. Yeah, I think we do. We cut one painter's studio. That'll bring us to 40. That keeps the lands in there. We can keep live or die. Which means we have potential to cast the Snatchers. Weird. <clears throat> yeah. What an awkward little deck this is turning out to be. I like it though. I don't have a whole lot of high hopes for it. It seems like it'll be fun to play. But now people are figuring out the synergies for some of the uh, the archetypes and things. Things are a little more cutthroat. You kind of have to be on top of it. And we're a mix of two. Yeah, see, we're gonna get hands like this where you, you don't really get to do anything. Turn two, we can cycle the Snatcher. I can go get a Swamp, but I'm still not playing anything till turn four. All right, I'm cool with you doing that. There's another swamp, alright, well. That at least guarantees us stuff to do on four, and if we ever actually hit five, we can reanimate it, so. see how this goes for us. Oh, well, there's the fifth land. Unfortunately, do nothing on turn three. Now, well, pay, discard a card. Hit me with a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Seems pretty good.
Uh, I think we go two targets for them to hit. Boo. That would have been a really good draw. That would have been a really good draw. Discard, that's fine. I think we just get rid of the planes. Um, we're not losing a whole lot here, so I'm willing to trade. Yeah, that's pretty cool. do just kind of want to chainsaw here, but I also want to reanimate my creature when they attack in. So I think that's what we're going to do, is we're just going to pass. I mean, this is probably pretty obvious, but we'll see. Maybe not as obvious as I thought. Get that out of here. Just gonna drop a chainsaw. Yeah. I think we're also gonna play the razor kit and go. Holy crap! All right, nice. Even the opponent thinks so. <laughs> well, that feels pretty good. <clears throat> Yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean, and now something gets plus one, plus zero in first strike. And we can start equipping the chainsaw. <laughs> what is it? It's equip three. I think I should just play the second slasher. That's I'm gonna attack in. <laughs> I'm playing another slasher. <laughs> So now we can most valuable. We can also equip. We can choose two attackers. Uh, this one's first strike. <laughs> Rev it up. Give it another counter. <laughs> I draw the second chainsaw. Nobody's gonna expect the second chainsaw. We're just, we're, uh, play a bunch of early removal and then reanimate big bodies and beat you in with the big boys. This will be nice. I mean, I've got a two. We can cycle this on three to make sure we hit our four drops. There's a monkey. Get it swinging. Yeah. With a chainsaw, alright. We might actually chainsaw on two. Uh, nope. We are gonna play Playmate. You're gonna remove it? You're gonna remove it, aren't you? That's fine. Oh, it's Scorching Dragon Fire. They're gonna be so upset when I play a st unstable slasher next turn. That's fine. You can get in while you can. Because things are about to go sideways, I feel.
momentum. That's fine. Nothing. Okay. So we can go white mana slayer. We can attack in and we pump here. Now let's death strike. <laughs> First strike and death touch. Definitely death strike. <laughs> Yeah, what a pickup and to, to just splash. <laughs> when he comes back. Let's chainsaw you. What do you want to hit? My face, yep, that's what I expected. And then we'll play the cheerleader. And we'll attack. Right? Uh, I gotta save the cheerleader, save the world. Oh man. Fear of being hunted with Slayer. And, uh, we're just gonna hospital room. That's what we're gonna do. Cheerleader. Yeah. Make her a, uh, what is that? A 4 3 first strike? If you don't block her, she gains flying. Or if you don't kill her, my bad. Don't block her. She's sideways, that's all that matters. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna play Fear next turn, I think, and then just start swinging in with him getting first strike, and it's just gonna be game over. Because they're gonna need to block Fear and Unstable Slasher at the same time, and it's just not gonna go well for them. They're probably gonna quit when I untap. It's all right, Team Money. You take your time. You think about it real long and hard. Just don't salt rope me. Like, actually be playing Magic still. Oh, this is starting to feel like a salty rope and not a I think in rope. Timeout used. You're the one who fired off Scorching Dragon Fire on turn two or three or whatever it was, instead of waiting to save it for my Unstoppable Slasher. You Dragon Fired a little ragged playmate instead of the thing that's gonna beat your face in. Yeah. Probably should have cycled this, played my land and done fear. That probably would have been a better play, more efficient use of my mana, actually getting my mana out. 
but yeah, opponents just saw roping. They turned off their phone and put it in their pocket. They're not even playing magic. I gotta sit here and wait for the timer. That's that's so fun. Sorry, I drafted a way better deck than you did. Not sorry. Right, you should just save both of our times and quit. Like, I'm not gonna quit. <laughs> it's my win. Most of the time I enjoy the taste of salt. I appreciate it when you're salty and want to salt rope me, but you know, I got other things I could be doing, like playing another game of magic. Build better, John. All right, well. <sighs> What's this? R turn one, red. Turn two, we can play the planes and the playmate. We cycle on three, we twins on four. That doesn't seem bad. Save you time, opponent. I'm just gonna do it now. Baseball bat, man. That card fucks people up. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. I don't know why you didn't wait to play it to attach it for free, but yeah, that's fine. It costs three to equip. <sighs> I want to do it, but I also want to cast Snatcher. I want to make sure I hit my fourth mana drop. But I also want Chainsaw as soon as possible with what's happening. Ah, this is... We need to get rid of the creature. Rev it up. It cost three to equip. And if I'm tapping out to equip for the playmate, like, we'll see. And the ghost thing. Uh, that's actually kind of funny. So let's go cycle. I'm gonna swamp. I'll play the swamp. I wanna attack in. Oh, they did it. That's fine. That one's pumped. And then we'll do the thing and we'll chainsaw again. Uh, yeah, target the creature. And then we rev rev. <laughs> boom boom. Okay. <laughs> um. I think we just play the Razorkin. Uh, they'll be able to discard, won't they? Yeah, they will. But we do need to play it. Uh, that's just no attacks there. This is gonna hurt just a little bit because they're gonna be able to give it indestructible and pump when they attack. But they're only gonna be able to do it for one turn. If 
you don't do it this turn, I get a double equip chainsaws next turn. Yeah, oh, eight seven. Okay, you top something down. And I can't kill that now, so no. Weird defensive play here. If they have that green indestructible card though, it's it's over. Yep, here's the double swing. Alright. Yep, nine seven indestructible. Choose blockers. It's it's everything here. Double rev. I'm one damage short of killing you. Oh, split up. All right, double rev. Double rev. Huh. Yeah, that, that, that might do it. That's a lot of trample damage. Oh, that would have been really cool to get. Um, I think we just lost because of the baseball bat. That card is insane. I can't wait to get a baseball bat and play with it. <laughs> that card is so good. I, I don't know. Like It is pack one, pick one pick over some mythics I think like it is such a good card pump my creature tap a thing when I attack in so I can attack in and have good blocks I can just attack in and tap my own creature to enable survival if I want like it's such a good card Well, we have no red mana, but I do have a turn three slasher. If I lose this, I deserve it. Boo, really? We're just gonna ley line of the void off the start? That's, that's cool, I guess. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I know. I'm not worried about it. You are. Cool. That is fine by me. Weird 
deck opponent is playing. Boo. Don't like that. Really? Really? I do kind of think I'm supposed to kill the crab here because I don't want the milling stuff to happen. I'm gonna land. It's not a land, but that's pretty decent because we can do the thing with ward. Get hmm. Nah, I'm gonna play through the ley line. That's fine. I'm gonna put it right back on top. And we're just gonna get this down while we can. Crab. Oh, my guy. Turn the turn. Man, we just need one land and we got this 6 5 online. It'll be good. Oof, there it is. Um. Let's go here. Ah, uh, chainsaw. We can swing for five. about right for what I would get. Stupid. Alright, well. That happens. That's fine. You need double removal to get in. Oh, that's fine. Snatcher. He knows that that's Soul Gorger. That's fine. But if we're gonna race, we're gonna race. Uh huh. Unlock. You get in for five. I see it. I don't have any flying, so. Well, we're gonna race real good. <laughs> I basically need to draw removal for that thing, huh? I 
That is not removal for that thing. I have no reach. I did not get a reach. That is not enough. We lose by exactly. Dang. That was rough. Man, even two chainsaws, huh? I mean, we have all of our mana and a two drop. We can hope this can go a little bit our way, huh? Cheerleader out. That's fine, mess her up if you feel inclined. Swamp Cycler, nice. Oh, we could Swamp Cycler and reanimate him. We could Swamp Cycler reanimate him. Oh man, do we get to attack in with the cheerleader this turn? I think we do. Ah, 3 2 cheerleader. Oh, now she's flying. Cheerleader. <laughs> so now we can swamp cycle one to make sure we can play the other and then reanimate the one we swamp cycled. They've always made a really big difference in most limited games. Hmm. A cycle. Get the second swamp. I think I'm supposed to chainsaw here. Get in for six. Uh, I mean, a lot of limited games, you tend to have people have like the same creatures and in like a mirror match matchup, sometimes just having that one extra point of damage, you know? Being able to attack in with a 3-2 over a 2-2 to make sure you can get into the 5-3, you know, profitably is, is a big deal.
want to turn on this, but you don't have a demon no more. I think so, but okay. But what are you doing about the cheerleader? Okay, but what are you doing about the cheerleader? Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Save the cheerleader, win the game. Well, what's that? Three and two, that's all right. Not bad for spending some gold. Oh, that's terrible. Opponent goes first. I mean, we're gonna keep. We can play something on two. We can get two things on three, potentially. We get one draw to see if we get another land. It is white mana though. Ugh. Alright, so we definitely still need to activate this for red. As much as I want to do it for black, it is our splash and not a main color, so... First things first, and I think if you just tap, reveal until you do the thing. Uh, do I just want to exile or does it go? Put that card into your hand. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. that but this isn't enough they're gonna get another whatever I, I guess I've just gotta let a man ramp gotta let him ramp Okay, so here, the swamp cycle, we play our land for turn, and we dragon fire that, and then we go your turn. Next turn, I think we just play Unstoppable Slasher. Uh, do I want to 
trap that. I might just trap that. Like you might be able to get it back. Another overlord. Well, that's not good. That one, I need to actually kill. Or not getting the thing to actually kill it with. Okay, well, this is a little bit of a problem. These are a couple of the things that we want to see against that, but we don't have the mana really for either of them, so that's, that's awful. We can play the Slasher, but it gets to deal 4 damage when it attacks. So I need a Swamp to cast Live or Die. We can't really hit it with the Glassworks. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, this is definitely no bueno. The black splash is killing us here, literally. <laughs> I might have been better off had I played the slasher. No, because he would have killed it anyway. And it used this to get that. I mean, the slasher would have been out to get the 6 5 eventually, but. Not quite in a way. Unfortunately, that it's gonna make any difference for us. Yeah, that is game. Rough. Well, three and three. That's, that's the average that'll get us through gold for sure. I need to be playing better than that to get past that, but three and three is not bad. Converted some gold to gems. Um, it is my pet dinner time, so we're going to take another quick break so I can feed the pets. If you want to get a snack, a smoke, a restroom break for yourself, we'll probably be back in about 10 to 15 minutes.
seen it. Don't be huffing at me, man. You were the one who wanted to cut me out. Lay down. Or I'll kick you out. Alright. Best viewers on. No, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> about but you know dog stuff we are back we are ready to draft um trying to figure out how to ban this person why doesn't it do the thing Oh yeah, okay, there it is, boom. Alright. Back at it. Doing another draft. There's enough of us. Somebody needs to click their button. Where are you? Click the button. The rest of us can't play without you doing it. No, you're gonna make us find a whole nother pod, really? Really? All right. Well, that's how it's gonna be. We'll find another pod. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Uh, ooh, opening up a Valga Boss onslaught. This thing. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's probably it. The Undead Sprinter seems pretty good if you can get some synergies with it going. This Horde Collar is pretty good. Glassworks is a good pick here. Yeah, I definitely Valgavas on slot here. This thing's cracked. For five mana, you get two four fours. That's that's pretty hard to beat. Oh man, cursed windbreaker. We're already wanting to go into the manifest. This manifest dread gives flying. This thing over here is pretty cracked if you can get a bunch of enchantments going. This is basically the uh, the generous stranger or whatever it was from Kamigawa that was the green creature that gave one plus ones when enchantments ETB'd. Uh, there's not really too much else going on, so we're probably going to take the Windbreaker. Scavenger seems like it could be fun to play too, though. But I think I'm going to stick to the Manifest. Alright, Fungus can be pretty good. 
Smoky Lounge is kind of the room payoff. Uh, stay hidden, stay silent. Says an aura removal. Raise a Collar's pretty good. Turn inside out's pretty decent. Man, this is the best card in the pack. This is going to be a fun play, though. Yeah, we're not really wanting to do the room stuff if we're going to be manifesting. I think we take the removal here. Are you alright, dog? Let me undo that some more. Is that better? Make yourself comfortable. Man, alright. Another stay hidden, stay silent. Meat Locker is always pretty good in these kinds of decks. This thing's pretty aw- oh, we've got Ghost Vacuum. Ghost Vacuum's just a fun pickup altogether. The Delirium here, um, being able to get the extra card, the extra lands down can be really good as well. We're already kind of going to be doing that with the Manifest. Ah, that's so tough to pass up. No, but I'm going to take the Thresher here. I think the Thresher's the right call. Ooh, somebody's going to be happy to be in the, the rooms when they pick up the second one here. Uh, definitely. Rare, Meglinoff stuff. We could just grab a Manifest Red. We, we already know I kind of like to splash in this kind of deck. And then Chandelier. And uh, Dagger Ma. Or, uh, I guess, Spectral Snatcher more so. Kind of make that happen. Will that other one come back? There's no way that other one comes back. We're, we're going to do this. Take the Manifest Red Man. Pyroclasm was fun. I think we take the three mana 2-2 two, two with upside here. Although Bashful is pretty good too, especially with the Manifest Dread. Maybe, maybe we'll take the, the Bestie. Bashful Bestie. Oh, Pyroclasm. We, we will be absolutely wrecked by one of those. Do you want console? Oh no, I'm going to pick up the say its name. That's going to be actually playable in our deck. Um, Fortune Enchantment. We might just pick up a chandelier here to make sure we've got one. There's the combat trick. We like that. That's good. A second bashful. Okay. Um, man, we could take the land here. The land here. And I could take either of those cards early. Yeah, give me the land. All of a sudden, this red splashes. Theoretical. Interesting. We might be able to splash red. I don't know what we're going to get in red to splash, but we might be able to do it. Um, none of this matters. Set complete. <laughs> um, that, that might allow us to uh, splash black. sideboard nobody needs that oh here we go overlord that allows to splash whatever we want growing furnace steaming sauna yeah somebody's super happy and the room stuff scorching dragon fire man the the gruel stuff is looking really good the overlord of the hot woods just turn three
Oh, man. Welcome to the team, Jack. Thing's super good, and with this, splashing black is so easy. I don't want to force it, but we'll see if it goes. Oh man, having this thing being able to manifest dread every turn. No, this thing is just too good. It's splashable. It's that good. Like, uh, we're gonna do the thing. I don't want to get a double black removal spell. I think that's splashing black, not red. Honestly, I think the two-two death touch is probably our best pick here. Yeah. Honestly, like, we could even get rid of the stay hidden, stay silent, and the cursed windbreaker. We're not even in blue. Right? Interesting. We can get cathartic. We could pick up killer's mask. We're going to grab Cathartic for now. We can Killer's Mask now if we want. We can get the big beater. I, don't know, I might just grab a beater while we're here. I should manifest that, huh? No, get the beater. Beater first. We've got both of those. Dog is amazing for something like this. What is this? Fear of exposure. Tap two and Christian Trump. Five, four for three, but I need to do two extra things. I think we just take the black removal here. As much as I like the dog, I like removal more. So we're going to take the removal. Yeah, we just pivoted right out of blue and into green-black, I think. Face down, flips are all right. We're not going to be going for the delirium aspect too much, I don't think. Um, fear the dark. And he gains indestructible whenever you sacrifice permanent loses life, you gain a life. You make enchantment lands, don't you? Token lands. I don't know if that was the right pick, but thank you, Arena. Another snatcher, they're just super good. I mean, out of these, we might play Fear of the Dark. Murder's on the menu now because we're going full black. Um, delirium, you can resurrect them. There's a sorcery that might be playable in here. Hey, the mask. I don't know if we'll make the final cut, but it is. It came back. Oh, threats around every corner. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like that. That's a good pickup for this deck. Oh, man, we might hope that the little bug comes back out of this pack, but everything else can kind of go. 
threats around every corner. Oh, we can get more mana fixing with the centipede if we want. I can go back to looking into the blue and doing blue stuff. We're not going to do win off the room stuff. We kind of let that deck go, but that would have been fun. And we're going to pick the, the bookworm back up, which means we can play the windbreaker and the stay hidden, stay silent again. A second fear of exposure. Weary Watchdog. Maybe Black Removal. Uh, I feel like either one of these is probably just slightly better than that. I'm going to take the dog. I feel like that's more playable than the 5 4 for 3, oddly enough. I mean, just remove anything, that's pretty good. As much as I would like to just take the burrower now. I might actually, and see if that wheels, huh? We got enough high end, I need to get some lower stuff. It is death touch. There's target player sacrifices creature, other than enchanted creature. When enchanted creature does double damage, destroy it. It could be a good two for one. Anthropede. I like getting at least one of those. There's just a couple of rooms that if they get going can be very, very annoying. So we might pick an Anthropede up real quick. Then I'll also be able to help out by discarding for Delirium. We can get another say its name, but I didn't see Alterac at all. Fear of Falling is just a good 4-4 beater. Yeah, we might do that. We still have some blue slash that we can do. That's fine. Anthropede would have shown up later anyway. I didn't need to take that first one. That's funny. Um, okay, I mean, we're not playing any of these. Which one gets me? You get me more of my set collection. That's nice. Uh, inspector number two in the deck. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna take the uncommon. Take the uncommon. That might actually get played in here. Uh, yep, uncommon. Just, just take cards, it's fine. There's nothing I'll give you my land. Thank you. <coughs> All right, well. Here we are again in Sultai. <laughs> Good old Sultai. We, we only got the Gruel land for, for that. That is a little rough. Uh, what does it look like if I cut almost all the blue except for that guy, huh? It doesn't look that bad. In the dark, we probably won't need. You're gonna cost what five? Here, hopefully, played on three. Removal, recursion. That's just good. That's just good. It's a creature. Pretty hard to turn a creature or a land. That's good. Watchdog is good. Oblivious Bookworm. Are you worth it? I mean, we're going to be manifesting a lot of dread. Honestly, Killer's Mask. I would rather be playing the Windbreaker. 
Hot Woods is mana fixing. I didn't get a centipede for mana fixing, but threats is mana fixing. Manifest, I definitely the chandelier. One of you goes. You go, you go. goes here. I almost just want to get rid of Manifest Dread. Or say its name, but both sound wrong to get rid of. Two blue, so yeah, three islands seems right. Definitely more green than black. Man, we might just run the 41 special and see what happens. Especially since our deck is already going to manifest a lot and need just a couple of things to kind of make sure we don't deck ourselves. So. Hopefully we don't we don't have that happen. Opponent goes first. We've got three. This is whenever a face down permanent enters, whenever it, or another permanent control is turned face up. So we probably will end up doing say its name turn two. This turn three manifest dread. Uh, nope, we're just going to know where to run that. That's fine. Spectre down. We can manifest next turn and hold up Vigor. I don't know. You're like two off. You're not that far behind. We can see how this goes. Dread. Definitely down. We'll attack. No blocks, huh? Uh, yeah, we would like to draw our card. Thank you. Well, that seems pretty good. And now I've got six mana for the branch snapper. All right. Well, 
else you got? Pretty cool, pretty cool. You don't want to see if I want to trade? Well, Windbreaker? <laughs> That'll manifest and pump. Oh, let's go get a dog. This is so gross. Attack. No blocks. All right, well, let's turn the dog up. Make it a 6-7. Nuggy even harder. Draw our card. Excellent. And I think next turn we just play the branch snapper. This seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Surveil? Yeah, get rid of the dog. That's fine. I'm gonna make the 6 7 a flyer then. Oh, oh, they're not ready. Shit, I'm not ready. Uh, let's just do it for two. I don't, I don't think we need it for any more than that. That's. Oh, uh, that's game. Card, no. What do we got? We got 17 cards left. Oh, it's not worth it, dude. Oh, you would. You would use my green, and now I can't do the thing. That's funny. That's funny. See how it's gonna be. Do we have delirium sorcery land creature? No.
play. Let's flip. Sorcery, instant, instant. Now yeah, let's just end the turn. And draw our free card. Now it's the second inspector. I do think we got this opponent though. We got him. The the playmate on the doll is is kind of a cute little combo, but it is. Unfortunately, not enough. Yeah. I did. Okay. Say, I don't see you hit me for seven. You did get in a lot of chip damage with that doll, though. You definitely did. Just not enough. Just not enough. Alright, well, we play on. <laughs> Let's just game one with this deck. Gross. Play that stupid baseball bat, I swear. <laughs> Happy to trade. I 
see. We think we have even a better target. Uh, no, not this turn. You get it. You get it. One of these times, I'm gonna get the survivor stuff. I haven't really had a good chance at it. You know, the stuff I have gotten a chance at is all of the really bad survivor things. It <laughs> hurts so much. Make it stop, please. I mean, we've got two for two, we got something for three, if we draw into a four, we can play threats. We got all of our mana already, that's amazing. So, what do we want? I think we start off with the Watchdog, gives us the most aggressive damage there. Um, Anthropede, yeah, you can stay, you can hang out. I'm willing to draw you, you're a pretty good uh, defender, you'll, you'll kill a room if I need you to. Three, we'll do the thing. Then we get to start the threats around every corner. Inspector train, that'll be fun. Yeah, haha, uh -huh. I see your bookworm. I hope to get one of my own. Thing. Uh, manifest you. No. Okay. A green. Both attack. You want to trade? All right. Get your engine off the board. I appreciate it. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we want that actually. Man, threats around every corner on curve is just brutal. Ha <laughs> ha. 
no. Whatever will I do? Appreciates it. And I guess I get that back. of my enchantment. I don't have delirium. I messed up. I forgot to count my delirium. That might have just lost me the game. trouble with the 5-5, five five, but uh, what can I do about it? They played good. Oof, oof, oof. Well, they played good. I got rid of my own delirium, and I think that lost me the game. That was my mistake. Need to pay attention to that need to pay attention to that. Oh, boo. That's super sad.
that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that, that removal is so good. The unable to scream. <clears throat> it is just absolutely good. I think if I wouldn't have gotten del rid of Delirium and I would have had the two flying death touchers and not had to do the weird jump block that I did, it would have been a way better game. But I shot my own Delirium without even thinking twice about it. Kind of sucks. We have to windbreaker first and then threat, but it's it's good. We got stuff to do. Come on two drop. Nope. All right. Well, maybe a different three drop than cursed windbreaker. Maybe. Nope, not at all. It's definitely the Windbreaker. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You had it. I got six mana. It's two for delirium. Let's go. Threats. Um, yeah, bookworm. Uh, we already have a blue. Let's get a black. Surveillance is fine. A snapper, huh? Do I want to play a defender and do a draw discard, or do I want to play a big body? Because we could flip this and get that going. Could also just play a 7 6 trample this turn. We might just play a big 7 6 trample this turn. It says a lot that I don't want to trade with the 2 2. Uh, we got a discard anyway. Alright, well. We still have a way to get back the chandelier, so we're gonna discard it for the threshold. The threshold, the delirium. Threshold is something completely, completely different. Beginning discard unless permanent entered face down or unless I turned a permanent face up. 
So we can flip him up and play this. We're gonna draw the card and we're gonna delirium. Deli oh, it's when it attacks. Never mind. Huh? I should have played him a long time ago. Not all the delirium are end of turn triggers like Stick Twister will. Boo. I don't like that. Um, we're just gonna start swinging. Uh, if there are four more guard types, look at the top card of your library. If it's land, put the battlefield. If you don't, okay, yeah, take action. That's fun. Mana ramp. Oh no! Anyway... Oh, let's get rid of... Yo. Man, do I love Manifest. So good. <laughs> you want the surveil trigger? That's funny. And a trapped in the screen, huh? That was a pretty good turn. That was a pretty good turn. How about that? What do you got for those? What have you got for those? Ah, oh, the onslaught. That's right, we want that in there. might get it back. Got opponent, what have you got? Thanks for playing. All right, well, 
two and two. Not a complete loss here. Let's try to get uh, three and two before we're two and three. I feel like the deck is, is better than that. There was just a couple of abrupt games that we lost. Mostly because I messed up my own delirium. Very important to pay attention to your set synergies. This is going to be fun. I think we do go watch Dog Inspector Overlord, though. But still. This is good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Alright, so Watchdog this turn. Overlord guarantees threats. Um, no, nah, that goes to the graveyard. That's fine. Do we draw a land? We do. So, we all tack in. that trade interesting I think we can put the swamp in the graveyard we won't need that we can cast an specter yeah next turn is threats and then we can cast beastie into overlord just full cast we don't even have to untend him that's like top of it now. That's fine, you got a glimmer, you can swing, I will kill it. <laughs> I will absolutely kill it. That is six mana. Doesn't do us a whole lot of good, unfortunately. Give it a little bit of time hanging out. Sauna. No maximum hand size, draw a card. This room deals damage equal to the number of cards in your hand to target creature and opponent controls. Interesting. So one, two, three, four, or one short. Let's get them. To try and hit the Overlord. I get a manifest dread three times next turn. Inspector is going to get out of control. Yeah. Yeah, next turn is going to be insane. All right, that's fine. Roaring Furnace. Who are you hurting? You're going to hit the Inspector. The one thing I didn't want you to hit. Damn it. Screen the Overlord. Alright. You want to make a glimmer? You can make a glimmer. Mm 
You can make a glimmer. I'll do this for three anyway. Attack for five. <laughs> Just to make three five fives for whatever it tapped out for, I forget. Seven. It's pretty good. Pretty friggin' good, especially since the one is the one with the flip abilities. And I can flip two of these next turn. I can flip one. No, I can flip them both. It's a lot of damage. Swing for 11. Just play a big old ward creature. Here you go. <laughs> this stack is so good. <laughs> Really, threats around every corner is so good. Well, three and two. Let's move on. Keep it going. Colorblind. Well, that's because you want to play Wooberg. Yeah, this does nothing until turn three. We better draw some really good cards. Yes. It's a good start. No, I definitely want that. Deck's gonna get me. The aggro deck is gonna get me. Ah, maybe not. We might be able to stabilize, but we're gonna be under five life. For sure. Dread right, they can attack. Nope, okay, that's fine. That is fine. We have the Anthropede. 
to get rid of one of those. So I'm not too worried about it. I can't activate either just yet. Yeah, so we got a threat. Uh, manifest. We should get an island. Uh oh. Oh yeah, uh oh. That's a lot of beats. That is a lot of beats. That puts us to one. Man, that sucks. That puts us to one. stuff costs just a little too much. We don't get enough blockers. There's no... There's no real reason to do it. They win. Alright. Oh, well, that sucks. Three and three. A gruel beats got me. I knew I was playing a little bit of a slower deck, but holy crap. Gruel beats. Oh, that's another good chunk of them back. What do we got? We got 7.45, almost 8 o'clock. Yeah, I gotta go check on dinner, so we're gonna take just a quick break. Uh, I got one more draft in me tonight, though. I think I got one more. We're doing pretty good. We're back into gold. So let's try to get to, like, gold 3, maybe gold 2. One good draft away. We'll uh, be right back.
All right, we are back. Draft number three today. We have been hanging out, doing three and three, losing about 500 gems a draft, but not to play a couple of fun decks. Got some more cards for set collection. I got a feeling this is going to be a good positive draft. Something like that. The almost trophy range, if not actually trophy. Alright. Survival guy. Whenever another creature moves counters around. What is he can get? Flying, lifelink, or a one plus one counter. The survivor here is gonna be pretty good too. Unfortunately, we probably won't see that come back around. Gremlin Tamer is also a really good pickup here for the eerie, just make a one-one. I, I want to try the survival deck. We haven't really been able to draft that yet ourselves. Followed up immediately with the baseball bat. That is our next pick. We are in the survival deck. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so good. There's no hesitation there. That is that is my next pick after the role model. Like these cards were meant for each other. All right, green white survival stuff. Let's keep an eye out for that the next couple of packs. I didn't even look at anything else in that pack. I was so excited to finally play this baseball bat. This card has wrecked me so many games. So many games wrecked me. Tap up to one target creature. That line of text is so strong. All right, we don't want to be doing any flippy-doos. We don't need any of that. I mean, fear of exposure, we, we really probably should be taking the Overlord of the Flood Pits here. It is the strongest card in the pack. We don't really have anything good in here to pick up outside of that, so that's what we're gonna do. There's there's no reason to not get that. Um, we could go for the land, we could get the eerie trigger here. We could get the monstrous emergence for some survival removal. If we can continue wanna try to push that. Scorching Dragonfire is not bad. This is a really good follow-up to the Overlord of the Flood Pits, though. Unfortunately, it looks like we should have taken the Gremlin because we are sitting more blue-white enchantments at that point instead of the survival stuff. But this is the best card in the pack, unless we decide to, to pick up removal and claim a stake. I mean, well, I'm going to try. I really want the Survivor deck. I'm gonna try. I really, really want the survivor deck. I haven't been able to play it yet. And every time I play a good one, I get wrecked. Let me get past more blue removal, more green removal. And we can pick up the Anthropede to be able to shoot something down. Or do I wanna keep bl the blue white enchantments as an option? We're gonna take more more survival removal. I uh, could even take the land here. Yeah, somebody else has taken all my survivor stuff though. We're gonna have to get it going the other way. And if that's the case, then we're gonna pick up and try to go do Bant Survivor stuff. Maybe I'll be the blue-white splashing the baseball bat in the role model. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely wanted the Survivor stuff, though. Happy to pick up an Overlord, no matter what color. They're, they're pretty much good.
none of this is anything. I'm gonna take the uncommon just to take the uncommon. Search your library basically and reveal it, put it into your hand. I mean, I guess it's mana fixing. Don't know that we're actually gonna play it. I have a Anthropede. Those are, those are good to pick up. The Room Destroyers. Oh, yeah. Branch Snapper. Um, fear of Immobility, or do I want the Inspector? No, we want the Fear of Immobility. 4-4, four, four, stun something, seems okay. We're just gonna put that in the sideboard there. We're not playing it, not our deck. I believe this is for the Boros aggro deck, believe it or not. A second Anthropede, all right. All right, a friendly ghost. Doo -doo. I'll sideboard that for now. Kona, oh, rest of you, bestie. Although Overlord's pretty good too. I don't know where we're gonna be greedy if we kind of go that route. I think I'm gonna grab Kona. See if we can get Kona to work. We might be able to get a free Overlord onto the battlefield. There's no way that makes it back around. Yeah, we're gonna take the rescue bestie. Uh, we probably want the cheerleader. Wound, analysis, and just manifest, and even the spinner is really good. I think we just take the cheerleader. I'm gonna try and keep things low. We can get a mana ramping room, something that manifests later. That's pretty decent. Survivor that mana ramps. I think I want this. It's good early removal. Make sure you get something tapped. Keep it alive with lifelink and ward. Yeah, we're gonna take sheltered by ghosts here. <laughs> Two of him, huh? Two. I mean, let's take one on the chance, I guess. He is just a beater, even if we don't get that far. Oh, the abduction is amazing for us. This is going to be good. We might even see the Verge come back. That would be a fun pickup. And here, we've already got one of you. I don't know that I would mind one of you too bad. And a merge, huh? Yeah, well, I guess we can take one moldering and see how that goes for us. That's played on three. We don't have a three drop yet. That's a good fill. We're, we're not attached to blue. We might not necessarily play the overlord. Got some beaters. We got a way to cheat them in. I don't really have too many survivals happening just yet. Beginning your second main phase. I can make my lands into things. I don't know that I like that. Uh, just the 4 4 gain life. I mean, it fits the deck. We're not picking that. We're grabbing the rare. And we're not going to play the rare. But we can grab it. Or I think we just take the goal. 4-4 four, four for 4. Gain 2 if you tap it. Uh, we can do you. You help 
Make sure we get our survivors to get in. And there's another three drop for us. Three, four, this is tap, but three one counters on up to one target lane you control. I mean, otherwise, it's just a three four haste for five. We're, we're gonna take it. I don't know that we're gonna play it. Do we splash for a brood spinner? I don't know. Take the survivor. Uh, none of this matters. Take the violence. <laughs> uh, take the survivor. Well, I guess that combat trick probably would have been nice for our deck, huh? Ooh, balustrade worm or hollowed haunting. So long as you control seven or more enchantments, creature controls have flying and vigilance. Whenever you cast an enchantment, create a white spirit creature token with this. This is a special guest card, too. You're not going to see these happen too often, so I'm definitely going to pick this up. This is rough. Like, Balustrade Worm, Glimmer Seeker, Threats Around Every Corner, but Hollowed Haunting, like... If you can get this down and activate it, it is backbreaking. I want more and more enchantments out of this pack. And we could grab a Gremlin Tamer. It's not an enchantment, but Splashing the Gremlin Tamer in here. Yeah, I think we grab a Gremlin Tamer. Um, survival. You're you're an enchantment. You do the top down thing. Unlock this door. Surveil. Manifest. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're gonna take the fear of the mobility here. Oh man, Overlord is an enchantment. Hey. Oh, why won't you come back out to play, Overlord? There we go. Uh, no. Sadly, no. Uh, Glimmerverse does make an enchantment for us. Absolutely makes an enchantment. Fear of Infinity could be kind of funny, but I don't know that I want to splash it that hard. And we can take up another Altanic. Huh? Too bad you're not an enchantment. I'll make a sound. You're an artifact. There's no enchantment in this pack. Interesting. Legendary Human Warlock, I don't think we can get that. We can do an Emerge, get something back, or I could Glimmer Burst again. Yeah, we want as many enchantment things as we can at this point. Oh, enchantment removal. That's so good. Oh, we're going to have to make so many cuts for the stack, but this is going to be a wild ride. <laughs> An absolute wild. Another fear of abduction? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, flying 
enchantment payoff. I think we just take the two drop here. He helps get some of the survivor stuff in there. This is going to be a silly, silly deck. All right, what do we get now here? We're getting not, not a whole lot left. Uh, whenever enchantment and armor flag, he gains 3-3, three, three, or he becomes a 3-3 three, three lifelink. He might be okay in the deck, actually. A healer. Uh, gets flying, becomes an enchantment into its other types. Cast an enchantment to control flying, as long as I control seven or more. Uh, I did not grab the jump scare. Uh, Dagger Maw might be mana fixing. The murder, you're not being played though. Man, hollowed haunting, huh? Terramorphic can go in for the mana fixing. Okay, so with Hollowed Haunting, I gotta want as many enchantment things as I can. I think the Altanics are gonna go. The Survivor stuff is gonna go. Megalodon, you're out for now. Snapper, you're out for now. You are an enchantment. Survivor, you're fine. You're fine. You're an enchantment. You're fine. Emergence is okay in the deck. Tamer, we need some eerie payoffs. The baseball bat's so good. 3-3 three, three healer. Help trigger survivor. Removal. Mana fixing. I don't know that I need the friendly ghost. We probably don't need these guys. How many creatures we got left? 14? Well, we, we can't keep cutting all of our creatures. Uh, whenever I cast an enchantment spell, create a spirit cleric creature token with power and toughness, each equal to the number of spirits I control. Okay, not to the number of enchantments I control. One, two, three, four, four. We've got two ways of mana fixing for blue, and that's it. That might be enough. This might not get cast as often as I would like it to with that, but this doesn't look that bad. It's a little rough. We pivoted so hard into the enchantments and kind of had to get away from the survivor stuff but I don't think this is not not doable this this is this is a doable deck we have a little bit of fixing and finding it's a little bit slower yeah that's fine we got to give it a shot you gotta play with the special guest cards when they come around. It's unfortunate it came around in pack three. If we would have gotten a pack one, we would have built a very, very different deck. I would have ditched Survivor early. Very early. I go first. This only lets me play healer, but Gremlin's good. Man, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Good, your healer, my healer. Alright, well. Pass. Oh no, Overlord. Well, you gained the life off of it, but we're trading. Ah, oh, that's, that's rough. Uh, 
Let's just keep playing cards, curve out. Another healer, okay. Leech. An impending command. We can kill something. I don't know why, but we can. <laughs> just gonna let that one go. Take the L, try to move on. That was, that was definitely a little rough. Uh, this is not good either. It's a little better. It's a little better. I think we put fear of abduction on the bottom. That's cool. We are about to get thrashed by that card. I don't know, I might emerge and kill it before I play the reluctant role model. I was thinking to play him and then do the emergence so we have a line of attack, but it looks like they're just holding up removal. Scorching dragon fire. For sure. I'm gonna play it. Here's the scorching. Oh, no scorching dragon fire, huh? thing. Let's give it flying. Uh, I think we're just going to end the turn. Let's make it a little stronger. 3-3 three, three flyer. Well, we could have played Fear of Immobility, but I think being able to tap down for a clean attack next turn is going to be big. Um, and then after that, we'll probably just play Anthropede to have a reach creature out and not really worry about... The uh, balloons coming in. I'm not worried, you're worried. The cheerleader flying, give him the lifelink. Oh, and he just continues to pump himself after that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It doesn't say choose one that hasn't been chosen, so flying lifelink and then just continuous one plus one. He might be ready to give up opponent. Um, I mean, I 
Unless we play the Anthropede. No room to destroy. One. Hey, this is a good looking win. Let's see if we can keep some of that up, huh? It will be my luck that I'm gonna cast this sweet, sweet uh, special guest card, though, and somebody's just gonna have removal for it instantly. Oh man, alright. Flush. Well, hi, hello. How are you? Reluctant role model. Well, we know how that card goes. I don't know that I want to deal with that. So we're going to just eat you now. Start beating in with a 3-2 Death Touch Lifelink Ward. Definitely want to trade for that. Well, well I'm not going to let you have it. Not that easily. Oh, you would. You would. So you'll get one good use. One good use. I guess that's all you really need, huh? counter, but mean good game.
What do you mean? Oh, you don't want to play no more. Haha. <laughs> That's what you mean, good game. I don't know. I think we would have had a really good back and forth. Alright, well. Pushing for this special guest card to be manifested and played. There's the Kona. That's fine. We can turn three or turn three. Kona could be fun. If you just put the door onto the battlefield, it does nothing. So you don't want to do that. I know that much of this. Hey, there's the card. That's it. Alright. Surveillance. It's rough. Gonna do the thing. If we're gonna mana ramp or if we're gonna play a removal spell. If I do play removal, what do I remove? source oh, rotunda is gonna hurt that makes that what seven damage jeez okay eat without me that's fine I'm doing this last draft and then I will eat after Probably go haunting in these two next, see if we can't get that going, but man, this is rough. Another elegant? Ugh. I mean, we're taking five. Yeah, the blue white enchantment deck has been found and pretty solved at this point. This is nuts. Is nuts. Oh man, baseball bat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man. All right, we're gonna get that, and we're we're gonna grab this. I just can't take any more beats for right now. That is very unfortunate. What are you? You're seven to unlock. Miscounted my mana's a little bit. It's fine. Um, what are we doing here? We're just getting things to the board. Good. Death Touch her? Yeah. That's 
fine. Okay. I mean, we're not out of this yet. We got a small chance. Baseball bat. Uh, no attacks this turn. We need two more enchantments, huh? scared of okay can do that I like have you no you block here let's go you here you're here. No, I want to keep the enchantment creatures. So you're here, you're here. Gotta kill the hardened. That sucks. Cause just, no, you make a gremlin. You make, don't make an enchantment. You're just an enchantment payoff. That's fine. I like this. This seems okay. I think I give him flying first. We give him lifelink after. We're gonna try and play a control game here. We are again two enchantments away from giving all of our creatures the flying and vigilance.
another goat. We might be in for some trouble here. Oh no, that's definitely some trouble. Um, I can only block one, two, three creatures. They've got three damage. If I block one, two, three creatures, they discard, they win. That's no fun. Let's see if they notice. Uh, target creature gets flying until the turn. That's also a pump in a different direction. How do you, who are you pumping? Who are you pumping? You mean I have a chance? We have a chance. You're here, you're here, you're here. We take one. We'll give flying here. Okay. can't swing with the baseball bat here and no attacks that's not good Discard, make a 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. I can't blame you. He can get in for one more damage. Oh, sheltered. Um, interesting. So we're going to shelter here. We're going to target that. Yes. We'll submit. We'll auto pay the ward. We'll get that back. We're going to eat the flyer of theirs. We have seven, so everything's flying vigilance. We swing. We tap down. We smile. We end the turn. Oh, we got their opponent. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> oh, no. We got their opponent. I had much fun in this matchup. I did. I had a lot of fun. I was on the edge of my seat. I was stabilizing at less than five life. But I hit that magic number of seven enchantments, and it was GG. <laughs> uh, damn, that was a really close game. That was really good. Grandma of Many Blades. Great. 
I mean, we don't get to do anything for, like, ever with this hand. We have to mulligan that. That feels so bad. Um, we will keep this. I think we get rid of fear of a mobility here. We get to play the Overlord on three, but we don't get to really do anything else. All right, well, that's Overlord into Hollowed. That's pretty decent. Piggy bank. That's gonna hurt. Really? Yeah, no, if they had pumped the 1-1 one, one on full swung for sure. Like, if there was any way to make that 1-1 one, one deal 2 damage, I was... I was in shambles. <laughs> yeah, I got a special guest card. Unfortunately, I think you're going to kill me before I can get it to happen. Slayer, swing for six. Go to 11. Oh, double pump, because you pump too, huh? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I mean, I cast what? Fear of abduction? Do we baseball bat at all? That just seems like a waste. This, this game might be over. Alright. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that's it right there. They just won. Cool. Oh. That's what happens when you don't play to the board. <laughs> Opponent curved out, and I played two enchantments. Man. Uh, that is going to be the risk of this. But we're, we're three and two. We're hitting that point. B barf. Nice. I like honey. Honey is delicious. Give me a forest. So we get to go what? Role model, escort, hopefully bestie? Or should I mana ram? And definitely bestie. Nope, no need. That's cool. You leave him alone. Don't you do it, you leave him alone. He's just a little guy, come on. Why? Why would you do that? He was doing nothing to you, nothing. You're gonna wish you had saved that for my hollowed haunting. Watch dog, surveil, do you deliriumed? No delirium, okay. Cheerleader. And we'll just play Kona. Single attacks. Trying to decide if we do attack with Kona and get down the haunting and then cast the gem. I really wish this thing hit just any enchantments instead of target room. But 
I guess it's kind of nice that it hits in just this set mechanic, huh? No! kind of fun that's not fun stop it oh now I got delirium This is gonna hurt. <laughs> right, shh, don't. <laughs> oh man. Hey, shh, don't. I can't even block it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, we got six mana. So then I'll play tapped. I don't want to get rid of one of the things I have for the fear just yet. I think we have to do this. So we have a spirit to get rid of with fear. Battlefield. Got no attacks. We're gonna see what happens here. I can triple block the fly trap. If they try to get in with a bunch of other stuff, we might just eat the fly trap one more time and do fear to get rid of it. Fear of abduction here. If they harden escort though and swing with the fly trap, that's rough. Defiant survivor, that's also gonna be rough to deal with. Whoo! You are gonna be sad you didn't. A seven seven when I turn it face up. Yeah, no attacks. Just 
So if I cast this, this gets me two more enchantments. This is an enchantment if I can get a face up, and this is also going to get me an enchantment. So we potentially have the ability to go activate the haunting. But we got to get there. But I think if we can get everything flying vigilance, it'll be game over. Take this. Yeah. Yep, six flying lifelink seems good. I got enough defenders. Four, five, six, seven. Eight do the thing. Oh, tools. This card is so good. Unfortunately, I do think I win this turn. Because we're going to cast Fear. That'll put two enchantments. Everything will gain flying, and I'm going to tap that down in the process. Oh. I miscounted. Because this is not an enchantment. Special guest cards. You can get them and play them. They definitely are special. It's definitely not what ended up happening for this draft is I started very, very heavy into the green white survivor stuff, but it was like, what was it? Pack one, pick one was reluctant role model. I believe I snatched up Baseball Bat immediately after, and then I picked up Overlord of the Flood Pits. And then I got Kona, and then somewhere in pack three, this thing showed up, and I was just like, okay, I need to get as many enchantment things as I can get, and I just started picking up a lot of enchantment stuff, and it, it, it came together, I guess? Like, I don't know. This is, this has been rough but fun to play, but part of it is definitely because I got a pack three special guest card. I was just like, I mean, you don't get these very often. This is going to be fun to play. So, I mean, we're, we're finally positive. We've been three and three on the other two drafts that we've done tonight, so this one puts us four and two. Just nobody's expecting the uh, the hollowed haunting and to play around it, you know? You don't expect the special guest cards. You've seen just about everything else. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's because I'm two different decks. I probably should have started the blue-white enchantment deck that was kind of given to me in pack one, but I wanted to try the role model stuff, the, the survival stuff. So I kind of forced survival, and I don't know if it's going to pay off. Oh, role model. Heh. <laughs> 
Okay. Um. I guess we play a cheerleader. This seems okay. Um, you're welcome. I'm glad that you like it better now. I shrunk it down a little bit, made it a little bit more see-through. Oh no. Here's the, uh, the room deck that we were passing by. That's not good. to rooms like this. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. You get to draw two cards a turn now. I think I would. Woo! Trying three cards a turn now. Okay. They're probably not even close yet. 21 cards still. Nah. Mm, is this the you win? Yeah, this is the you win. I'm just drawing too many lands. They're drawing things to do, and I'm drawing lands. Two, four, six. That's that's almost eight. Oh no, that's eight. When we're getting another upkeep, they win? Question mark. Huh. 
Huh. Baseball bat here. I think it matters though. They just need to unlock a room and pass, right? Discard of cards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different unlocked rooms. It's got to be at the beginning of the upkeep. Two, four, six, seven. That is actually fucking hilarious. Um, no, you're not winning that way. Sorry, I'm not allowing it. Um, let's move the baseball bat here. that and then we're gonna tap that and harden here we get in for four damage end turn you don't win <clears throat> holy crap <laughs> it's like i'm not losing to the meme they had it they had the win Oh. Okay, that's going to be trouble for sure. an amazing draw. We just put you down. Yes. Now we're discarding there. I do think we get the escort down. <clears throat> There's no reason to attack. We play defense for one turn. I don't know that's what you wanted to vanish from sight. You better have a, something else for that overlord there. No, you do. Okay.
I think we just barely lose. This is so intense. But I think that's lethal in the air. You just you Leroy here, my guy. And this is this is a Leroy turn. Playing it safe. Like, I don't even know if I got something to get me out. I had reach. I can block once. I was hoping to get the 2-4 or the 2-3, you know? If they would have swung out with everything, I can block one of the flyers. I have to double block the menace. Like... <laughs> we would get an escort or a, another land. That's that's super helpful right now. One, two, three, four, five, six blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six attackers. No, five attackers. I can block, tap one down. So yeah, that's game. Came down. Came down. That sucks. I don't know, like I said, I don't even know I had anything at that point that I could have drawn that would have helped. I was banking on this guy quite a bit. A fear of adduction might have helped swing things a little bit. But uh, we didn't lose to the meme. We didn't let him hit us with the, the I win with the doors. And this deck did do positive. We got to play this for just a hundred gems. That was pretty fun, actually. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I think we would have been more just a survival aggro deck, but we pulled the hollowed hunting, and I really wanted to make that happen. I pivoted too hard in pack three. But 15 more packs to open. I do think five of those might have been from my rewards from the season, so don't think all of those are from drafting tonight. I hear this thing's fun in draft too. Deal non-con damage, there's four or more, deal sex damage. Yeah. Yeah, we're just... <laughs> It is removal that sits around as a win condition. Imagine that being good. Uh, I thought I had opened up Ghostly Dancers when I opened up that special guest card. But either way, we were going to pivot and want enchantments and doing those kinds of things. So, oh man, two of them. Yeah, Mihook Massacre. Flytrap's pretty pimp too. That that's gonna be another fun one to pull. Alright guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. We did mid midweek magic and three drafts tonight. We got back out of silver into gold tier three. So overall not too bad, I guess. How are we doing on this set collection here? Well, collected every uncommon and common. We're just trying to get the four ofs of each of them now. That's pretty cool. A little bit more to go on the rares. I wonder what the colorless card I'm missing is. Marvin. The tools. And that's it, huh? I thought there was a couple more missing. Well, one of these times this will come around. This one, I don't know that we're going to do too much for draft, but this one can be a lot of fun. Alright, guys. 
We'll uh, catch you tomorrow, maybe for Bellatro, maybe for more draft. We'll see what we're in the mood for. But that is it for tonight.